Hello all and welcome to video series of C Sharp 3.0 new features. In this series we'll be discussing about new features of C Sharp 3.0. The features are implicitly type local variable, auto implemented properties, object initializer, collection initializer, anonymous type and extension methods. So let's start with the first feature implicit type local variable. Now we have a console application. Now C Sharp allows you to declare variable using var keyword like this. So I'll say var s equal to hello world. So I have declared three variables without giving the type explicitly. We have used var keyword and we have initialized the data members. Now compiler will find the type of the variable from the expression given to initialize the variable. Now let us try to print the type of these variables. So I'll say console.write line and to get the type we have get type method. So let us print the type of all these variables. Now let us run this. Here you'll find the data types are printed on the console, integer, string, and double. So you can see we have not given the type but compiler has inferred the type from the expression assigned to variable. So this feature is called as implicit type local variable. Now when you are declaring variable using var, variable must be initialized. A variable without initialization gives compile time error. So initialization is compulsory. So if you take the cursor here, you can see implicit type variable must be initialized. Now this feature is called as implicit type local variable in the sense only local variables can be typed implicitly. Means we cannot use var for return type or parameter type or to declare data members. So if you try to give return type as var, you are not getting this in the intelligence. Also if you try to give var for parameter, there is no intelligence. So var is used only to declare local variables. To make it short, C Sharp supports implicit typing using var keyword. Compiler figure out the type of variable at compile time. Var variable must be initialized at the time of declaration. So in case of implicit typing, we have three variables declared using var keyword and they are initialized. This is equivalent to explicit typing where we specify the type explicitly. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to us and click on bell icon to get more videos like this and I will see you in the next video.